Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I get started, I just want to introduce uh, Mayor Roberto De Silva and Superintendent of East Providence School, Sandra Foran. My name is Chief Chris Francisconi. Um, earlier today at 12.24 p.m., um, we uh, received a, a radio call from our school resource officer at East Providence High School uh, advising that there uh, was a student who had been stabbed. Um, at that point, the suspect was unknown. Uh, we had a large response to the school. Uh, many police officers responded. Um, we, uh, the East Providence Fire Department transported um, the victim to uh, uh, Children's Hospital, Hasbro Children's Hospital. Um, the uh, investigation was, was begun and we very quickly identified uh, the suspect. Uh, the suspect was placed in custody. And at this point of the investigation, um, we believe he was the only person involved in the, um, in the stabbing. Um, although uh, it, it's very preliminary, we are uh, you know, conducting our investigation to uh, try to see what led up to, to this stabbing. Um, I can assure the community there's no you know, uh, larger threat um, no additional, we don't believe there are any additional suspects. Um, you know, during the, uh, right after the incident, the school did go into a lockdown. Um, and uh, that, uh, you know, it, it worked very well. Um, the students and the staff, uh, you know, did a, did a great job uh, during the lockdown. Um, and it's, uh, you know, this information is very preliminary. This happened just, just uh, about a couple hours ago now. So there's going to be uh, not much more I can share at this point, um, but uh, I would be happy to uh, take some questions and also uh, questions of the mayor and the, and the superintendent. Where did the stabbing happen? Uh, we believe it happened in a bathroom. Do you know it was over? What it was over? We're hearing it might have been over a thing. Okay. okay. We don't. We don't know what it was over at this point. Sorry, where did you say that that stabbing occurred? It was in a bathroom. Yeah. Do you know whether the victim was a male or a female? The victim and the suspect were males. Um, do you have an age? The uh, victim is 16 and the suspect is 17. We're also hearing that this was an ongoing argument. Is that anything that you can confirm? Uh, that's something we are investigating. Um, we don't have any, uh, you know, we've heard rumors at this point, but it's definitely part of our investigation. Are they both students? Yes, they are both students. Any status on the health of the victim? Uh, being treated right now, uh, I don't have any more information besides that. How many times was it stabbed? That, I'm, I'm, I, I can't release that at this point. Was it a knife or? Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're investigating that. We're not positive it was a knife, uh, but we are, uh, that's part of our investigation. When the school went into lockdown, so once that call came in, the school immediately went into lockdown, or how did that kind of move forward? You were able to have the lockdown. I I, um, I believe it happened very rapidly um, that the school went into lockdown. Uh, I did respond probably within uh, you know six to seven minutes of the call, and the school wasn't locked down when I arrived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Superintendent, do you have anything to say to the parents? Of Providence School District tonight. There were a lot of very concerned parents in the Shaw's parking lot. Um, what, what, what do you have to say to parents tonight, especially, you know, the school? First of all, I'd like to start out by thanking the East Providence Police Department, our SRO, and our school staff for their immediate response. Um, we are going to have an increased police presence on campus tomorrow to make sure that all students and staff are safe. And this was an isolated incident between two students. We take the safety of our students and staff seriously. We're doing an internal investigation right now, and we will be putting additional measures in place to support students and staff. And I, I made, this may be a silly question, Superintendent, but our after school activities canceled today? So all after school activities were canceled. The, the teams that were going off campus, the games continued to go off campus. In an event like this, 
you know, just afraid of conversation of maybe putting metal detectors in the school or something like that, if that's not already the case? So we're always having conversations about how to keep our students and staff safe, um, and we will continue those conversations. Now, this this was one concern from the parent, is the fact that there's no real lockers. He had those concerns that, you know, the students keep all their belongings on their own being. Is that something that the district may look into? I know it kind of does relate to the whole metal detector aspect of school safety in general. So, as I said, we'll continue to look at all safety measures in the school. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, as a parent who has a, uh, a student at the East Providence High School, I can't commend the East Providence Police Department enough on how they handled this incident, how quickly they brought it under control. I also want to thank the superintendent and her staff for keeping all of the kids calm and at ease and also making sure that first aid and, and treatment was uh, immediately delivered to the victim. Uh, you know, it breaks my heart to hear something like this happening in our, in our community. Uh, we have a strong sense of community in East Providence. So this, this really this really hurts me as a parent and as a resident and as, as the mayor. So uh, once again, Chief and Superintendent, thank you for, uh, thank you to your men and women and, and professionals in making sure that our students uh, were dealt with efficiently today with this incident. Uh, I know that the Superintendent mentioned that there will be additional staff on hand tomorrow to deal with anybody who's feeling any type of trauma or emotional uh, issues as a result of this incident. So thank you all. Uh, yeah, it's been related to me that it would uh, stable, uh, but serious. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. And Chief, you don't know how many times you was that. Uh, at this point, um, I, 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 I don't have that definite information, so I don't want to misspeak. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you.